All right, man. Only way I trade Jeremy Grant. I mean, maybe two ways, but let's just name it. The only way I trade Jeremy Grant. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Some people think he could be a cornerstone. Some people think he'd be number, a great number two. The one thing about Jeremy Grant is that he is a great glue guy. Okay. Um, his father was a glue guy. Uh, uncle Horace Grant was a great glue guy. And um, Jeremy Grant is a great glue guy. Okay. You know, if you build a championship team, you can build it with, you can build it around Jeremy Grant, okay? I think Jeremy Grant could be a great number three. You know, I think he could be Dennis Rodman or he can be Draymond Green. I mean, I think, obviously, he got more scoring potential or more scoring than all of them guys got. But I think Jeremy Grant is a great asset because of his flexibility. If you do get a, a Cade Cunningham in a draft, Okay, you ain't worried about nobody that's trying to go out there and score 50,000 points. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got somebody that can facilitate, that can, you know, find shots for Jeremy Grant, make the game easier for Jeremy Grant. You know, let's say you want to add another guy like Ray Allen or, or Clay Thompson or, I mean, Kevin Durant, somebody that's in that vein of Ingram that can create his own shot and get buckets and, you know, who could just score. I mean, then you put him and Jeremy Grant at the four positions. I mean, you, you great. Jeremy Grant fits. Let's say you want to bring in a Cunningham, a Reggie Miller, or, or another Rip Hamilton, and you want to bring in a Kevin Durant type of score, and you want to bring in Clint Capella in the middle. All right. But then you still got Jeremy Grant, who can spot up and shoot. Somebody getting in foul trouble, he can create his own shot. I mean, somebody that, that's going to hit open shots. And then now he getting buckets with the ball in his hand, and he started learning to cut without the ball. And move without the ball, it's gonna be a wrap. They're gonna be unbeatable. So, Jeremy Grant, I don't think is a trading chip at all. He's he's too flexible. He's too flexible to trade. And to be to be honest, he looking. I think I'd rather have him than Fred Van Fleet right now. Because you know he can guard shit every position on the floor. Now, if you putting Draymond at the five, he can guard him. If you put in Cody Zeller at the five, he can guard him. He can guard fours. He can guard threes. He can guard. He can guard. He can guard Jalen Browns. He can guard Jason Tatum's. He can guard a Damian Lillard. You know what I mean? You talking about his versatility? You know what I'm saying? He he can guard one through five in in, in this league. So we talking about his versatility is just like he, he's in. He's very valuable to what the Pistons need. So you start building with them. I mean, you got somebody that if you bring in a, th a four, he can move to the three. I mean, you bring in a four. I mean, you bring in a three, he can stay at the four. You know, he's just too versatile to say, you know what? You know, let's trade him. Okay, you just can't trade a guy like this. Too special. Too special to trade. Just to say we trading him for picks. You know, if I'm trading for picks, then I'm trying to trade with the Wizards or the worst team out west. You know, I'm not trading him back to Denver for Will Parton. <laughs> no. You know, if I do trade him back to Denver, it's going to be they picks for the next two years, Will Barton and R.J. Hampton. It's going to be something like that. But to be honest, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to help Brooklyn out. I'm not trying to help the Lakers out. I'm not trying to help Denver out. You had them. Not at all. I'm thinking big picture. I'm thinking we get a great pick this year. Let's say it's K. Cunningham, K. Cunningham, Suggs, or the center from Michigan. You know, let's say it's one of them. Let's say you get, you know, you get a guy like K. Cunningham. Boom, we plug him right in there. And now, now natural point guards, the true point guards, starting to come back in style. John Morant, Lamelo Ball. So if you get your true point guard, now you're going back in style. You know, so. Next year, let's say you get a you know a great score, you find you a great score high. And I mean, Jeremy Grant from Grant fit wherever you're doing, cause he's gonna defend. He know what it feel like to be a role glue guy. He can spot out and shoot. He can defend multiple positions. And I think he's gonna be loyal to his franchise because we gave him a shot to be the guy. He and then again, he can still be the guy. When the Pistons won the championship, both I mean all three times, it wasn't just one guy. You know, before they won the championship, it was it was Dan Lee, Isaiah, Dumar. I mean, you had multiple guys, and then. You know, Mark McGuire, uh, Isaiah, Dumars. You had guys, Vinny Johnson, who was going to beat you. So you, you just don't focus on one guy. But I, I'm not trading them. You know, and the only way I trade them if it's a Blake Griffin deal.
If a team gonna take the Blake Griffin contract, that's the only way I'm moving him. You know, or unless they got a high draft pick, but I'm, I'm only moving him unless you take the Blake Griffin contract. If you ain't taking the Blake Griffin contract, I'm not moving him. You know, but then again, Blake Griffin next year, if you wait, Blake Griffin is in the con in, in, is in the contract year. The guy who ain't dunked in like two seasons. He's in the contract year. So, I mean, next year, you can move Blake Griffin without no problem. People would love to have that expiring contract to free up space. So, I mean, I'm not in a rush to get rid of him, but if I was in a rush to get rid of him, then I would do that. But next year, you'd be able to bring something home for Blake Griffin. If you flip him for another expiring contract, or you flip him for assets to take on, you know, other contracts, but... At this point, Blake only got one more year left on his contract, so it might it might be it might not be in your interest to to flip him for Jeremy to flip him with Jeremy Grant. Now, had he had one more year on his contract, that would have been interesting. But he got you know he got one year. He don't have two. So in that situation, maybe I don't get rid of him. Because after Blake Griffin, who else you got on the con on that team that's got a high contract? Not too many. So, I mean, you got rid of Andre contract, got rid of Reggie contract, Josh Smith contract finally came off the books, and our Blake Griffin contract come off the books. Now, now we talking. Now we talking. Now you talking my language. Now you talking my, now you talking my language. Now you're in a situation where you're in ground zero because guess what? At the next, at the Blake Griffin contract expired next year, Jeremy Grant only got one year left. I think Plumlee only got one year left. So, now you're in a situation where you're in ground zero. Josh Smith contract, Blake Griffin contract, Reggie contract, Drummond contract. Now you're in a situation where now we didn't got it, ground zero. We got Jeremy Grant. We love him. We see we got in Killian Hayes. We see we got in Sadiq Bey. We see we got in uh, Thomas. What's his name? I forget his name. Dude from Washington, Isaiah. We see we got in those guys. Okay, cool. But now you want to now if you're in a position if you drive good this year, you drive good next year. So if you get uh, a Suggs or a Cunningham, next year you get another guy that you like. So now you got a few young pieces. And if they jump or if Dennis Smith Jr. jump, see what they gotta have happen is this: Killian, Sadiq Bay, or Big Fella from Washington. One of them got to jump. So if one of them is really good or multiple good, it's going to be the best scenario. If Dennis Smith Jr. jump or Josh Jackson jump or become a good integral part, that's going to be good. Now you're worried about if you draft. If you get it right the next two years in the draft, plus this year, the, this past draft, the pieces are going to be right. But they got to have one of them dudes to be a superstar. One of them dudes is going to make somebody better. And I'm telling you, if Kay Cunningham can make people better next year, the following year you add a score, the pieces are going to be bad. You know, then you're looking at it and say, we got Cunningham, um, we got Jeremy Grant who contributed, we got the big fella from Washington who's going to be playing really good, going to develop, and Sadiq Bay going to develop, however, however it go. Now we're in a scenario where now you can pull in a big free agent to take us over the top. So it's going to be interesting, but they got to draft right. But the only way I'm trading Jeremy Grant, if I'm trying to get Blake Griffin contract off now, but I can wait to get that contract off. So, there's no way I'm trading Jeremy Grant unless I need to get Blake Griffin contract gone. But to be honest, I think he's going to be part of the Pistons for a long time. And I think it's going to be some loyalty there for us giving him a shot to be the man. But I think Jeremy Grant is going to be there. But I think it's going to be another guy that take the Pistons to the next level. It's going to be other guys. You know, Josh Jackson contribute, Bay can contribute, and the big fellow Isaiah continue killing. Even if all of them, Dennis Smith become bench players. They got to find guys in the draft while they high that's going to be superstars or all-stars. So, it's going to be interesting to rebuild. I like Grant. Wouldn't trade them um, at all. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, call, response, your video request, all my social media links, description, fast way to reach me. That's Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. If you want to make a financial donation, cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description as well. Two. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section one time for the